All right, Guardians, so we are here at Xur. He is on Titan this week, in case you guys don't quite know where he's at. He is on the rig in his little uh, office complex over here. But I already covered the inventory in a separate video. That one should be already up. If you want to link to that one, I'll put it right up here in the top right now and at the end. But we have something new, the Invitations of the Nine. This is where we potentially get to see some new lore. So we've got collect metaphysical samples from defeated combatants in the European Dead Zone. Complete, complete strike lake of shadows so it looks like it takes nine shards to purchase so definitely not expensive um the world is what this one is called collect metaphysical samples from defeated combatants in the european dead zone so you got to kill cabal fallen and taken so cabal and fallen you can do those probably in the trust land if you're doing lake of shadows you're probably going to see plenty of taken anyway uh so i would knock out your cabal first and then you'll probably see most of the samples unless they're just a really low drop rate. So I'm going to pick this one up, kind of see how quickly they drop, and we'll see what happens after this one. Exchange. All right, just a couple quick tips on this section. When you're looking for the samples, they don't drop just like one for one. You're going to have to kill quite a few enemies. Now, there are a couple ways to have a lot of these enemies spawn, and sometimes they actually spawn with each other. So if you're going for... Fallen Cabal, which is the two I would work on first. I would save Taken for mostly the Strike. Um, either in the Trost Land or up in the Sunken Isles, kind of a little farther west of the landing zone, you'll have two points where the uh, Cabal and Fallen are actually going at, each, going at each other, like, you know, landing back and forth and kind of get more escalated enemies. Now, I don't think it matters if you kill a Major, if you kill a Red Bar. It's, they seem to drop just completely random. So you don't have to go hunt down Majors or Lost, you know, Lost Sector bosses or anything like that. Now, if you are having issues just finding enemies to kill and want a good group of them, Lost Sectors in any of those places will probably work. Trost Land, Firebase Hades, and then Sunken Isles has a good mix of basically everything you're going to need. Whether it's Lost Sectors for Fallen, Lost Sectors for Cabal, you should be covered between both of those places. When it comes to the Taken, I literally did zero before I stepped into the Lake of Shadow Strike. And when I finished the strike, I got all the, essence, the, all the samples. I'm sorry, I say essence later in the video, but the samples that I need. Um, now, the two people I was running with, they tended to be skipping a lot of enemies, and I was taking the time to literally shoot everything that I could. So if you're going through um, anything that can shoot a lot of enemies, like a machine gun, is probably going to serve you very well, and whatever else you want to use. But don't miss an enemy, kill as many as you can. Now, if you finish the strike and you're totally not done with it, um, my advice would still be probably start it over. Now, in courtesy, I might finish it for the people we butcher you there with, but for a collection of Taken... Unless you just get a roll where it's like more falling, you're still going to have a decent amount taken in that strike. So if not one run, it should be two. And now we're going to transfer over after we're done with this part to see what's next. All right, Guardians. So once you finished your Lake of Shadows strike, if it did actually check the final box of getting you Lake of Shadows and taken, you'll actually see your little quest step has changed. So after the Cabal, Fallen, and Taken Essence and completing Lake of Shadows, you get into the unknown. Enter the activity Mystery and Potential via the Gambit Director to rendezvous with the Emissary of the Nine. You feel every cell in your body stir, magnetized by an inex inexorable cosmic force. Something is pulling you forward to the hall. Hall, hole, whatever you want to call it. I mean, if it's the hull of the ship, it's said that way, but it's H-A-U-L spelled that way. So... Mr. Potential, likely to see a cinematic here, so I'm going to mute my mic unless there's anything specific I need to talk over. So let's jump in, see what we got. Alright Guardians, no cinematic yet, I uh, guess it's another leap of faith, not sure if I'm going to have to fight my own thing in here, uh, but we'll see how this goes, I will mute it if something happens for cinematic so. We stand at the precipice of history, or 
What you do here changes the cosmic balance forever. You have made allies of dangerous beings, gods and god pretenders. How long before your company involves you in something you can't come back from? Those I serve have so much to learn from you. You are their greatest curiosity, the agent on whom all fates converge. The Dredgen presents a special prize to the Nine. He is an anomaly, an elemental balance, a grand experiment. We remember his trial. It's about time someone taught you respect, little man. Ha! Someone like you? I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. Drifter now. You have proven yourself worthy. Accept this gift from the knife. A gift? What gift? Only two others have transcended their design. The first, an hourglass, counting down with infinite patience. The second, a forgotten blade sharpened anew. And now, the dredgen. Visit us again. We wish for you to understand what we understand. For now, it is my purpose to speak to you and you alone. But only if you remain worthy. So that basically is it. We get to see a little bit about Dredgen, uh, or the Drifter, now as we know. Uh, the pairing with the Emissary of the Nine. The fact that his ship didn't have the thing attached to it previously. So that's new. Um, and then we have a little bit of lore. So let's take a quick peek here. And we've got Dusk and Dawn. Ecdysis, I guess could be the way you're saying that. Seeds and Cuttings. One. On the day she boards the y Yang Lui... They call her Nese Sarwar. Sorry if I'm butchering this. She carries in her knapsack an unopened letter for her brother. 
her mother's ashes, a selection of seeds and cuttings from her favorite neighbor's trees and plants, and some 30,000 songs and short videos on a hand-me-down myoelectric augment. On the ship's manifest, Nasaya Sawar is one of two dozen classless scoperas. I'm going to butcher a lot of these words. This ought to be fun. Trash collectors and composters and caretakers devoted to endlessly tidying the many surfaces and people within the Yang Laiwei that cannot or do not clean themselves. She hopes through hard work and perseverance she will prove herself worthy of one of the ship's remaining civilian cryopods or even better, a promotion to an Autergé position where she believes she'll find the freedom to devote her waking hours entirely to the loving care of the ship's hydroponics facilities. Nasaya is quadrilingual. Several of her fellow scopers are not born monolinguals who got lucky... Who are not born monolinguals who got lucky in international exodus lotteries just like she did. When they realize that she can speak to some of them, they do their best to befriend her. They share meals... They show her photos of the loved ones they left behind. They explain the function of the ship's many impossible machines. In turn, she does her best to teach them how to speak to others. In this way, they are all a little less alone. She is 27 years old. And I'm not going to read this whole thing. I thought it was actually going to end there. But if you guys do want to see me continue reading this, I can kind of put pieces in the future videos as well. But that is where we're at, everybody. Uh, Invitation of the Nine, I think these are going to be where our cinematics and story lie this season. Getting to know what's going on with the Drifter, what he's doing with the Taken, what is attached to his ship, and what is going on with the Nine. So we should have nine weeks of this, I think, to my knowledge. Of course, everything with the Nine is nine. And I just wanted to show that to you guys. So, quick run-through, again, just getting the essence in the previous step. And then, of course, um, the cinematic and the uh, information we will slowly get drip-fed out about the Dredgen which is now the Drifter. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you, if you do want to see me read the future content, let me know. I will be happy to do that. Uh, just know that could get a little bit long. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Leave a comment if you got questions. And to everybody out there, thank you for the continued support. If you have not hit that subscribe button on the channel, please do so. Hit that alert bell as well. You guys will know when new videos come up. And thank you all for tuning in. Enjoy your day. And I will see you soon.